Hi guys, so in this video I'll be showing you a quick demo which is using the Quantum Ball and Beam device that you see on your screen here. So it's called the um, Manual Mouse Control Demo and basically it's the, the goal of this is to show the student how difficult it is to stabilize the ball to a certain position along the beam using your mouse. So the mouse will be controlling the position of the servo on the bottom right here. Uh, so then we can compare that to the automatic control that's uh, in a similar diagram. So um, for those of you familiar with the ball and beam, you you know that there's uh, two loops going on, right? So we'll have an inner uh, servo position control loop and an outer ball position control loop. So they're both using PID-based controllers. Uh, so the outside loop gets the desired ball position and the measurement from the potentiometer, and it calculates the... Uh, the required servo angle and then based on the desired servo angle the servo controller here uh, applies a voltage to the motor to reach that angle and um, so you have two cascading feedback loops that, that do the task. Uh, so I'll run that first and then I'll try um, controlling it manually using the mouse so I'm gonna go ahead go to cork build to generate the code and um, once that is done, uh, we, we can run the system. Okay, so I'll go cork start. So uh, I have two scopes here. Uh, the servo angle shows, of course, the, uh, the measured servo angle in purple, and the yellow is the desired angle that's outputted from the ball position controller. On the right here, I got the ball position control. So the yellow is my desired angle whereas the purple is the measured uh, ball position. So you can see it's tracking fairly well. So right now it's commanding the ball to go between plus, plus and minus five centimeters about the center. So right now this is plus five centimeters, then it'll change up to negative five centimeters. So this cascade control loop is, is working um, fairly effectively here. Uh, okay, so now I'll try doing it manually using my mouse. So if I if I put the switch down to the bottom position, then I'll be using these blocks here, the host blocks from Quark, right? So host initialize and host mouse will be used instead to control the angle of the servo. Okay, so I put the switch down like this, and now you can see I'm controlling the angle of the servo as I'm moving my mouse up and down. So now I'm trying to stabilize the ball to the yellow line. So it's, it's fairly difficult. And again, that's the point of this demo to show how hard it is. Oh, I'm almost out of there, so I'm bring it down a bit. Oh, minimize the overshoot. So there you go. So that's basically the demo. So this is a cool way. So now I'll switch it back to the automatic control. And um, this does a much uh, better job than me of controlling the ball. Then when you're done, simply click on the stop. And um, that's it.